Hi there, this is Dr. Pan, recording from Tucson, Arizona. Hope life is treating you well on this beautiful Friday afternoon, and thank you for watching this clip on evaluating a infinite sum. This particular series is called a telescope series. As we go through it, you'll see it looks like the telescope, you can actually pull it out, and then when you actually push it in, it collapses. Collapsed all the way down to when you push this one all the way in, it collapsed down to just the two terms. So it's a pretty neat trick, actually. I don't know if I'm doing a good job drawing here, but you get the picture, hopefully. All right, so the first thing we're going to do here is actually we're going to do a partial sum. The reason we're going to do partial sum is that we want to see if we have a negative sign in between, in between the two terms so we can actually cancel some of the inter terms and plus 2. The idea behind this one is, look, if I were to multiply this one outside on this side, then I would have n n plus 2 on the bottom, just like that one. And then I have a times n plus 2 plus b times n. And this numerator here has to equal to 2. And from there, we have two equations. We have 2 has to equal to a times 2, because that's the term that does not have n in there. Also, a n plus b n, this has equal to 0. Um, actually, mostly most of the textbooks you've been dealing with, they'll say a plus b equal to 0. The reason is there's no n term on my left-hand side. Okay, so from here, it's pretty easy. In a equal to plus 1, if a equal to plus 1, then b equal to minus 1. So therefore, by doing the partial thumb, and solving for a and b, we effectively say, you know what, when I split this multiplication here into addition and subtraction, I have a equal to 1, so it's 1 over n minus 1 over n plus 2. Now this is actually the fun part. Let's take a look at what happens to the sum itself. Okay, n equal to 1, start at this 2, n times n minus 2 becomes infinite sum n equal to 1 to infinity of 1 over n minus n equal to 1 infinity 1 over n plus 2. Now watch this, the fun part. We start a cancellation here. Let's write the first couple of terms. So we have 1 plus 1 over 2 plus 1 over 3 plus 1 over 4, so on and so forth. And then minus the first term is 1 third. Then minus 1 over 4 so I have minus 5, minus 5. Now watch all those terms kind of cancel themselves each other out. Okay, so this is the telescoping part. You can expand it everything out, but if you push all the sequence together, only two terms are left off. Kind of like uh, those opera telescopes or pirates telescope, probably more accurate. So in the end, we have 1 plus and a half, which is three and a half. That's our final answer. I always thought telescoping series are one of the cool ones. Now, to make the math break fun today, I want to show you this book. I have a nine-year-old. He got this uh, Russell's Ash Incredible Comparison. This is an awesome book. I don't know if you ever got one when you were a child. Our, our kids are young. So one of the comparison they had it was uh, unbroken border. I just start reading it. So the longest border between the Canada and U.S. stretched almost 4,000 miles. It's actually longer than the Great Wall of China. I didn't know that. So if you have people link hands and give them about a four feet distance, you actually need 5 million, 5.3 million people to hold hands. I thought that was kind of cool. Alright, back onto the math. So Recognizing the first thing you need to do when evaluating this type of thing is partial thumb. And once you get over that, you can write a couple of the terms out. I think it helps. And then simplify. All right, hope it's clear. Once again, from Tucson, Arizona, this is Dr. Pam making learning math fun, at least trying to. If the video has been helpful, I would appreciate a comment or a thumb up. Until next time, have a confident day.